Morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College and we're looking at uh, John chapter 1, beginning of a new book today. It's April the 10th and uh, let's dive straight in to the first passage and we're going to read the first five verses together then I'll share with you my thought for the day, my password. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. And so the, the Apostle John in these just five sentences, five verses he completely outlines the whole of his thesis for the whole book. He starts off with the position of the Lord Jesus. Later in verse 14, he talks about the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. And that's, of course, the Lord Jesus. So in the very first verse, he says, in the beginning was the word, the word. And the word was two things. The word was with God. He is co-creator. He is co-divine. He has co-deity. He is with God. But then he says something very strange. He says the word was with God and the word was God. Now that doesn't make any sense in English. That doesn't make any sense in any human language whatsoever. You cannot be with somebody and also be that person. And so John is explaining something that is sort of a bit beyond human ability to understand. We cannot really and fully understand this. He says he is the word and that he was in the beginning. That is, he, has, he is a man of eternity. He has no beginning. And he says he's with God and he is God. Now that's an impossibility. And then he says in verse 2, the summary of the three concepts that he's already given. He says the word was in the beginning with God. The Lord Jesus is God himself. He's not the same as the Father. He's a separate person to the Father, and yet together they are God. Now that's something that is impossible to understand. In verse 3 he says, all things were made by him, that's the Lord Jesus. Did you know that it's the Lord Jesus himself that is the creator of all things? All things were made by him. And John turns in typical Jewish fashion, he turns the sentence on its head and says exactly the same thing in the other way around. He says all things were made by him and without him there was nothing made that was made. And then he says this and in this sentence, he, in, this, in this couple of verses, he, he summarizes the whole of Christ's ministry. It's beautiful, beautiful. He says in him was life and the life was the light of man. The life was the light of man. When the Lord Jesus came into this world, there broke upon this world a light that had never been seen before. And men who rejected him are like men who in the full blaze of the noonday sun prefer to stay indoors and read the scriptures by the light of a tiny little candle. When really they could open the doors or open the curtains and let the light of God flood in and the candle would become obsolete. Oh no, they'd rather have the candle except the light of Christ. He says that in him was life and the life was the light of men. And then he says something very interesting. He says, and this is my password, the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. 
What this particular phrase means is that the light of the ministry of the Lord Jesus shone in upon a dark, dark world. And the dark, dark world didn't put his light out. That's the point. The darkness didn't snuff out the light of Christ. That's beautiful. That's what John's Gospel is all about. Well, there's my password and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. God bless you.